tiens de mon teint. On a tous été stupéfaits par les nouveaux repas de Libra et chantons. Allez Paris, allez Paris, allez Paris. Yeah. Welcome, 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 beautiful Paris Saint Germain family. I'm extremely happy, I'm extremely hyped, and I'm extremely excited to share this news with you guys. So, let me find the first one. It's crazy. At the moment, the news are absolutely crazy. We have two players. First one being Joshua Kimmich, second one being Seiko Boyoth, I think. This is insane. I just need to find the report. Oh my days! Welcome footballers, welcome Dorde, and welcome Marco Yomo. What's up? What's up? Nah, look, PSG are absolutely insane. This club is absolutely insane. So I need both <laughs> reports next to each other because then it looks better. What's up, Mo? What's going on? Rats of Fabrice. Marco, don't worry. Marco, don't you worry. Okay, Marco? I have everything covered, all right? And that includes boy, all right? Easy. Easy, people. Please, please, please. One second at a time, all right? Fabrizio's a rat, all right? Don't care about Fabrizio, all right? Let me find it. So. Oh my days. I'm trying to find an old report here. So, all right. So, first of all, Joshua Kimmich. All right. This was a report again. Look, let's go. Kerehau, all right? I'm using German reporters here. I'm not using French. I'm not using PSG reporters. I'm using German reporters. The first one here, Joshua Kimmich definitely wants to stay at Bayern München this January and Bayern also definitely wants to keep him. PSG are interested in signing Kimmich this January. If not, then the summer loser will get la la la. All right, Pletty Gold, German reporter. Now, this is from today. Pletty Gold, Sky Sport, Germany. Again, German reporters, and now they're saying the opposite. Joshua Kimmich is no longer considering leaving only from next summer, which means he may leave in January. The player does not route a departure this winter under certain conditions. PSG wants is now we're in the summer, but concrete discussions have not yet taken place. Other clubs wanted to. Ah, they clubs, la la. Nobody cares about City, all right? Nobody cares about City. Buy inside, still no discussion, la la la. Boring stuff, boring stuff. David. Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up, what's good, what's good, How you, how's everyone doing, how's the chat doing, how you doing, Mo? It's a David, Tuchel was right, Tuchel was right, right man. Tuchel has, has saved this club, man. Tuchel has done this club, Tuchel's a legend, I don't like, come here, come here, I said that Tuchel's a legend of this club now, man. Yeah, th yeah, this is part of his status, man, this is part bro, of it. Bro. Bro, if he this... should send, you know, the shoes with Kimmich as well. Bro, that Nasser gave him. <laughs> that Nasser gave. Bro, if too cool, if too cool, if, too, if we actually get, if we do get, when we get Kimmich and we get the Sancho Bui, ah, uh, we are a filthy. We are very, we're a very good team. We're a very dirty team, man. Like we are, we would be crazy, man. I, I feel bad for Europe in general, man. Going for, I mean. I'm not, I'm not going to act like I watch um, the Sancho Bui dude, but from the comps I've seen, he's complete. He can do everything. I've seen mm. he can take nah, he's a beast. He, he looks like a beast, man. So I'm like, I'm very interested. Like, it's, and it's, if it's going to be cheap, from what I've seen, that it's Mukile stuff, since Bayern didn't get the, I can't pronounce the name, the, dra the Dragon something guy. From if Genoa, Bayern, yeah. Yeah, if, if Bayern paid 25 mil for Mukile, we can get Sancho Bui for less than 25 mil. I'm like, and people are like Sancho Bui is two times the player Mukiele is. I'm like, yeah, yeah, he, he is, he is. I haven't watched, I haven't watched Galatasaray, so I like the hype though. So let's see what happens. I, I, he, what I said in chat, he knows that if he does come to PSG, if he does come to PSG, he, he is more likely to um make the Euro squad for France. So I, I can see why he will come. So, David, have you seen this latest report that came out? 
about Kimmich, Kimmich wanting to leave in January. Yes, sir. and this is from plenty. This is from their reporters. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty it, much it, a Bayern it, fan. He's a Bayern the writer, and he's saying this. Yeah, it's crazy, man. I mean, I I know someone like my man, no name, is throwing, is breaking every glass in his house right now. He's <laughs> insulting everybody. Like, yeah, it's cool, man. It's crazy though. Like, I can't imagine. Like, it's crazy, but Kimmich at PSG, like. I've been I've been talking about Kimmich for a while, man. I talk about Kimmich, talk about Enzo, talk about Barella. Just to get one of the players, I'm like, whoa! He's, 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 I'm actually like starstruck, and I can't imagine what he would do with PSG. Like how he would take us to the next level, especially on midfield. Like, Kimmich is a freak. I'm, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I, I mean, David. Wait. We're still far from an agreement, but we're seeing progression. That's all yeah. you got to. This is a big transfer, Kimmich in the January. Tra like, we got to go back to what Coutinho. Yeah, like a magnitude winter tra transfer signing. Um, so we're far from agreement, but obviously, you know, the, the, the insider, Emi Foot, <laughs> mm -hmm. he's been saying it's been agreement for a long time now. Yeah, I mean, what, what I believe is that, and what, what I understand is that Bayern are going through so many con keep players with contract issues, are found so Musial and stuff, they don't like, they don't like. Be in a situation where they are, where they are forced to lose a player for free. So I understand that. And I, so I'm like, hmm. I, I understand why they want to make a deal with P, like with PSG and stuff. So yeah. I, plus I, we have Mukiele, a player that they won as well. So yeah, it's a win-win. It's a win-win situation. Wait, where is? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, for just saying it's a done uh, like that. Kimmich has agreed with Paris Saint Germain for a contract. Do you believe that already? That, that he's agreed. I he he probably has agreed. Because from, he probably has agreed, but he like this, the the club has to come to an agreement how much money has to be paid. Because again, Kimmich is, go, is going to go up with a fifty mil. Does PAG have that fifty mil to spend out, especially after Screenyard's injury? I no, know. well, I've read David. We have sixty million. So we have sixty million. We have sixty million after signing Beraldo. Probably the Moscardo money is kept in a safe, David. So, but if me, that deal collapses, we get an extra twenty mil. We can use. Okay. Right. And then I, we're I, trying I, to sell Ekitike. I guess the Ekitike money will buy the Sasha Bowie guy. And then it's Mukiele plus the amount of money that we have left. And then we have that cheeky eight mil for that Belgian guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it's, it's great. It's great business at PSG. I'm, not, I'm just happy that like all this shit is, do, is being done during the first cup, first weeks of the window. It's not done during the last weeks, like normally with, with Leonardo and stuff. So let's see what happens. I'm interested, man. Like, I'm, I'm, I, like I like every player I, I've watched. I can't remember how to pronounce his name, Sachi Bui. I've watched all his comps. I've watched player analysis for... I know Premier League teams were linked to him. Arsenal. I know Arsenal was heavily linked to him. And I, I, I know some, some other La Liga teams. I, like, I've watched so many comps and play analysis. I, I like the player, man. And he looks like he looks like an upgrade over Mukiele. I'm not going to lie. Like, yeah, he looks like an upgrade, but i got to see him play for PSG if I make my own decision. Because bro, the, the stuff he does with the ball, attack, he attacks the box. Not to defend. He's quick. He's physical. He's good with the ball. He, he, I think he's a, he's like a good substitute for for Hakimi. But the thing like like with Mukiele now that why Mukiele wants to leave is is game time. Does Lucho will and again Sancho Bui is actually good from what I've heard. If he's twice the player Mukiele is, will Lucho give him enough minutes to keep him satisfied at PSG? That's the real question though. You know what, David? All we care about is this season. And he will get enough minutes with Hakimi gone. <laughs> we don't okay. care, all right? Yeah. We all don't right. care, man. It's like Pep. Sometimes he has a great player only play, I don't know, maybe 15 games in the season. And he yeah. just tells him, you, you just got to fight for that spot. We got to have that standard here at PSG. All right, no problem, no problem. We'll mm. And by the way, because a lot of people are talking about what Fabrizio, you know, the rat... Oh, just came out and say like yeah. he's so boring like he's Fab a mouthpiece for clubs Fab Fabrizio, Fabrizio is a top emergent for PSG uh, just like since, since the news came out let's wait couple, let's, couple, let's, let's just wait if, if the Turkish guys are saying something's happened just let us wait 
We'll no, 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 David. Because what we got is, I think this is the Turkish guy. Yeah, he said breaking. Pinchy Galatasaray have reached an agreement for Sasha Bow for a fee worth twenty to twenty-one million. He's expected to sign the contract after the final details of short opening. And David, we have seen a lot of reports regarding him, right? For the past like two days, right? Mm -hmm. What Fabrizio is saying, he's not just saying there is no agreement. He's saying in any negotiation, that's impossible. We definitely have negotiated with uh, Galatasaray and Bowie. Well, I think this is David because it's PSG that called Fabrizio and told him, go and deny. Because they are scared this is going to risk the Mukiele situation. Yeah. Because if Bayern see us getting this guy for like pretty much the same value they rate Mukiele, like they're going to be mad. Like he faced them twice this season and cooked them. So... I'll, I'll like, I, he's like, coming 100 and i've even gotten comments saying everyone in turkey is saying it's a done deal hmm. well i mean again i don't blame him because if, if he does come to PSG, he knows he makes the euro squad and i know he wants to everyone wants to like all this all the friends that want to be for the country and stuff man so yeah i'm excited though because i've seen comps man he, he will add up. yeah it's good you know man. I'm just, let's, I'm, just happy, like, I'm just happy like like people are people are finally appreciating campus and stuff. Like he's not he's, he's not with the big names you go for. You. Like I like see okay. I'll say the uh, let me not, not, I don't gas campus so I don't, I don't like like hyping them up everything. Like he, he gets tiring. But let, let, let me put let me put it like this. Let me just run into you guys. Normally, whenever we we used to sign a player, that player's value will, we will not be able to get rid of that of that player next season. Or be stuck with him for the next couple of years. But whenever Campos signs a player, if that player does not work out with us, we can flip him next year for profit, yeah. like Mukiele and stuff. Or we can get him for like a like a slight loss, like a Hugo Ketike. It's never that that player is stuck with us for like next ten years, and we don't know what to do with him. So, so someone like Mukiele, who does who who play, who had an amazing year last year, when we got signed for ten to fifteen million, now we're flipping for twenty five. That's profit, man. That's pro and, and, and I know Nasser loves that. He, he loves when he sees the more the green green lines going up instead of the red lines like with the stuff. <laughs> yeah, but well, this is actually, this yeah, is it's not just the age and, and and still having value. It's also the contracts, David. Mm -hmm. Buying a player from a club like Galatasaray, a club that probably doesn't pay his players that much wage, we we probably give him what one hundred mil, maybe one twenty, one thirty. That's nothing. Yep. Was the Herreras? They were brought in for like three hundred, three fifty. Three fifty. And then we couldn't yeah. remove them. Yeah, yeah, but like he's very, he's a, he's a very good right back. Like he's very strong, he's very quick. I'm like he's giving you like like young Serge Aurier vibes, man. That's like I said, like he's just peak, just physical. When once after the crossing, mm -hmm. right. and he can play in a high line. Mm -hmm. Cause he's quick. He's he's quick enough to play in the high line. He's not some slow dude. Yo, Hakimi just got competition, man. <laughs> In his best season, he's getting competition. I, get I don't know which happened. I mean. And David, if we complete all of this, will this be PSG's best yeah. January winter transfer window ever? If we do get Kimmich, Sancho, Bui, and the Belgium, le the Belgium left back or a new left back, yeah, it probably would be. We will also be Baralda. I forgot Baralda. So it would be PSG's one of PSG's best windows of all time. And I'm here for him, man. Uh, wh wh what do you think about the Spanish dude? Uh, is I mean the Spanish dude is, is a thirty year old guy. Nothing impressive to like write about. I mean, it's, it's just a lucho signing. Spanish, someone you trust and stuff, man. I don't, I've not I've not watched Leeds to, like give my opinion about. I think he's Leeds. I don't know. It's, 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 again, it's lucho talent idea and stuff. Like this, this, like this goes back to what like we talked about, like. The players he signed in Barcelona and stuff. We gotta tell Lucho like, bro, your talent ID sucks. But we'll, we'll try to get you the best player that matches your play style. But Yo, Diego Lorente or Eric Dyer? Eric Dyer, more proven player. More for for Lucho system, for Lucho system. Oh, though. I've been watching. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know who Diego Lorente is, man. I know David. Him. I just guess he's a sen Spanish centre back, David. That's also yeah. playing in the Premier League. That means he's probably really good on the ball, comfortable with it. He's probably not the best in duels, but as like a third defender that just 
But like has Eric, a lot of the ball, shouldn't be but winning. Like, but someone like Eric Dyer, dude, he can play right back, center back, center, center mid, center defensive mid. He can play four. He can play four positions. He has. He's more. He, he Moreno. He put on that money like Moreno, Conte, and and all. They've all said he's like he's to his first. He's one of the first three names on on the team sheet. So he's more proven. He's a more proven talent to me than Laurenti because again, I I don't I haven't watched Laurenti and stuff. So I'll, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but I get it though. Like there, it just it's just mid versus mid to be honest, man. Just who's the best, who's the best mid? <laughs> yeah. Will we give Mukele for commit? So the insider that I've been following, which gives me maybe the best idea at the moment, PSG is offering money, and if the money is not enough, they will put Mukele into the deal. At the moment, it all depends on buying. Because Kimmich is already thinking about leaving and he will choose PSG over City and the other clubs they're interested because they're not they're not pushing for him as much as Paris Saint-Germain. Plus that we have Mukiele, an asset that Bayern wants as well. So, yeah, at the moment, I think Bayern are in a... But the thing is, though, David, Bayern still have a lot of time to replace him if they're going to buy Palinia with that money or whoever they're going to buy. They still have yeah, time. I, I think I'm more focused on... like. Once we start seeing Bayern going for replacement, then I'm like, yo, yo, this, this is actually happening and stuff. But I wanna, I want to start seeing Palina talk from Fabrice. I want to start from Jacob, Jacob's Ben. I want to, um, David Orsi. I want to start seeing, I want to start seeing like Bayern for like maybe even Calvin Phillips, man. Because, bro, if we do, if we do get Kimmich and stuff, Europe is done, man. And if Kimmich are just like Europe is like Europe is wraps. Like this, that's a Sudal game where I was like, where people were like, nah, come on. Like, we're, we're physicality and stuff. Moreno and, and fucking Zubimendi and, and touching Kimmich, man. Kimmich, like, Kimmich, like I think Kimmich to your midfield is... Wow. <laughs> like, but, wow. But you still, we still have short height, David. Are you concerned about that? What do you say? We're still short in midfield. Are you concerned what? about that? In the sense that it was too short. I don't, I don't really mind it. Because now, now we have fighters, man. Like we have people that are, like even like we have people that are, they're not they're ready to they're ready to kick you, man. They're like someone like Vitinha, the, the Vitinha of last year, Vitinha, he wasn't a man. Like this, the one we have, he, he's ready to kick you, get to get the ball. They're, they're aggressive. I, I don't like like we're small, but Lucho find a way, man. Lucho find a way. Mm -hmm. Lucho find a way. Which you'll find a way, man. I think Tuchel Kimmich's relationship isn't good. Yeah, yesterday I talked about the reasons Kimmich would like to leave Bayern, and it's he's worn everything at Bayern, has a bad relationship with the manager, uh, slash the board as well, <laughs> and third of all, has has had contract issues for a while now, and they don't see him extending. Yeah, he's gonna he's come take his last big paycheck. Well, we're getting we're getting rid of Navas, right? Give him Navas pick. I think I think Navas making more than him. Give him give him like Navas paycheck. Like, yeah, what I'm saying. Like, we're getting rid of we're getting rid of Navas. Getting rid of hey, I don't. I think Navas is making more than him probably. We're getting rid of Navas. We're getting rid of Hugo. Give him like half of Navas. Or even, like if that if the difference is that much, Let's throw the boy something. Man, after everything we've done, if we w don't win the Champions League, David, because that's what they're aiming for, David. Like, they could have just waited Kimmich in the summer or Bruno in the summer or Paqueta in the summer, but they badly want it now. Why is the pressure so much this time? Plus, we have a lot of money, which we didn't have before. But why do you think there's so much pressure? I have no idea, man. Okay. Does it have to do anything with Mbappe's future, do you think? Do you, are you I, trying to satisfy Mbappe as much? Do, do you think... I, I, do you call me crazy if I think that Nasser told... Like, Mbappe and Nasser did like, okay, if we, if we make a semi-finals or final, you stay. Do, 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 <laughs> like, like, do you think they have... They have a better, yeah, basically, like, okay, that you stay. But if you don't, you're free to go walk free. Do you think that, that could happen? Because they said that they have a gentleman... They have an agreement between two of them. So all of that be like, okay... How about this, Mbappe? If you do, if you if you do make a like a, a semi-finals or or finals, you stay. But if you don't, you can walk free. I mean, that would that would be crazy, David, because that would literally imagine a small thing affects it. Uh, but I think it's more they know Mbappe is going to make a decision at the end. They know the further they go, the more optimistic the chances are of him extending. So they're trying to go as far as possible. That's what I think. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, we as fans, especially me who was aiming for the Champions League. I mean, I've seen people on Twitter, David, say this is a rebuild season. We shouldn't aim for the Champions League. Type. Like this is Paris Saint-Germain. We aim for Champions League every season, all right? <laughs> it's the culture of PSG. I'm a god of I can give you information. You give me far, information. Man. You can actually go far, man. It's crazy. Chances yeah. of Kimi joining us this winter? You know, I'm not going to say chances. I'm going to say a progression in the deal. At the moment, we're, we are around the 40% mark. And then if he agrees, it goes up to pretty much 65. And then it's all about buying. But chances of it happening, I'm, I'm going to say 50%. It's very high at the moment. Because it's progressing. Um, what would be your midfield three then? I mean, people are mentioning well, Ugarte and so on. <laughs> what, what happens to Ugarte? <laughs> I, have an, I have an unpopular opinion, man, but I'll, 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 I won't let it. I won't let, let it. Um, I'll, I'll let it. I will let it. Um, this stuff right out, man. Okay. You know what KJ said about Kimmich uh, Ugarte? I think I think that I think that will help Ugarte, man. But I'll, I'll let I'll, I'll let I'll let it slide. David, David, the, the, after the last game, where I realized Ugartes backed himself up before the game, <laughs> and they got cooked no, no, no. against Uyus nah, it's, oh. it's, it's a long season, man. I, I, have, I, have, I have stocks somewhere, man. I don't let it slide. No, no, I, I have stocks as well. I have stocks as so, well. Because he, I, he's going to have a big Copa America. That's all I know. Because, That's all I need. Because I know... I've watched Kimmich, man. I know what, what, what like, what, what, what the profiles are beside him, what, what he does to him, like, the, the destroyer and stuff. That's why I took cool, trying to get that Paulina and stuff. It's fair him. But we'll see, we'll see. I, I don't speak too much, man. But I think, uh, maybe, maybe this, this, this lies on final Gartier's belly, man. We'll see. But again, competition is good if competition is healthy, man. So we'll see. I'm, I'm excited. Our midfield oh. six now would be Kimmich, Vitinha, Warren, Kangi Lee, Ugarte, and Fabian. So We're comfortable there. with all six of them. So there as well. Man, so there we get shipped from this club, David. As soon as we don't have a, a gap, he can we can put him there. Yeah, give me give me a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh prediction for launch game. Um 3 0. I think it's gonna be a really tough game. So that, when I say 3 we're not going to completely dominate and destroy them, but we're pretty much going to completely dominate and destroy them. The Turkish media works like this. You deny everything because it would bring fire to the board. If the fans see they sell their best player in the winter, they would hate the president. All media from Gala works together with the president and the Gala board. I am back, man. Okay, okay, Laza. Um, midfield 3, how do you think... Sh should it be Kimmich as the six, even though all the complaining is done at Bayern or Vitinha six? Where where you take on the midfield three? Oh, it's probably gonna be it's probably gonna be Kimmich six, but he's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna be a deep line. He's gonna be the deep line playmaker, man. The reason why Tuku doesn't want him to play six is because someone like Goretzka is, is, is a is a cyborg, man. He has no technical ability to play eight, man. So whenever Kimmich, so Kimmich is doing all the ball progressing by himself. But if you put another ball progressor like Zai Emery and Vicien beside him, he he will excel and stuff, man. But and they can he, do a lot of yeah. running and winning duels for him as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, he'll, he'll, be, he'll be pulling the team from the midfield, man. Like, it, it's, cash and, it's cash money, man, how we play if we get Kimmich, man. It's cash money. Especially, I, I also think now, man, the striker, whoever the striker will be, will also, also benefit with, with his playmaking abilities as well, man. Nah, Kimmich, man. Oh, God, man. <laughs> We'll see, cause his his passing range is insane. I I don't want to also watch a Kimmich comp, but the Bayern fans know what I'm saying. Like the passes he pulls out to the wingers, pull like the guy's insane, man. He just like, he just said like, he like he didn't get enough hype. He doesn't get enough hype. How good he how good he is, but yeah, Kimmich is insane. Yeah, and I mean he's the one we we've been talking what we need, someone that can progress the ball in high numbers from central yeah. areas to 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 wide areas. Mm -hmm. But my my biggest fear is the transition from Bundesliga to League One. In the sense that League One is the most physical league 
Other than, yeah, in, we're sitting in top five. It's the most physical league. Everybody is standing six feet, six foot five, six foot seven, six feet eight. like everyone's big and everyone, everyone's big and rough. So like Kimmich in the Bundesliga, I watch I watch the Bundesliga. It's it's it's, it's somewhat high line and op- open play. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not saying that Kimmich will find open play in Chico. Yeah, Kimmich is, is that quality enough, but. I don't know if the fiscality will get, will get to him. I, like, like, how, like Messi's first season in, like Messi's first season in um, League One, like he said that he he was shocked by the fiscality because they were clearly two meters high and stuff, man. Uh, maybe that maybe Kimmich goes through like a like a first one or three games trying to adjust to it, but he will prevail at the end of the day, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now he he will definitely have some kind of adaptation. Thing is though, David. Why do we need Kimmich? <laughs> Champions League, baby. Champions League. And he's played there. Yeah. Like when we were linked to Bruno, the only issue with Bruno was he didn't fit the match the description that Lucho wanted in Champions League experience midfielder. Yeah. He yeah, just I'm, won it. I'm, yeah, I'm I'm more I'm more willing to spend a hundred mil on Kimmich than on Bruno. Because like I, the Bruno stuff it didn't make sense to me. He was he was that big of a, an upgrade compared to um, like um Vitina and stuff, but Kimmich, oh la la, man, oh la la. Yeah, he, he would be more like a starter and also like competing from, with other players. But like Kimmich, he comes in, he's the best midfielder immediately. immediately no questions man. asked. That was, that, that, that was, you you saw like, that raises the floor. Like, you no, know, I've been, I've always been saying, we need a floor, the floor is that. Like, Kimmich is that floor, is man. He's that floor. Like, bro, Kimmich, oh my God. People, like, people don't know like what we're in for. Like, y'all, oh God. What we we'll see, man, Kim Shan, like Kim Shan them man, playing, pinging the ball from from center from from the center mid to right wing. Our team would be crazy. But I, I want I want to see what Lucho does with this team. But again, if we do get all these players, man, Lucho has no excuse. I'll, I'll keep saying it. Lucho has no excuse in like in two years to come to like this year we can challenge. Even next year, if we do keep, if, we, if we do keep this keep this set of players, and uh, uh, Simon. You should have no excuse to not, to, make, to not go at least semi-finals back-to-back years. If we do get all this, like Kimmich, you have Simmons coming back, we somehow, somehow keep Mbappe and everything, yeah. and we have the same couple of players. Lucha has no excuse of not getting semi-finals back-to-back. He has no excuse, respectfully. So, yeah. He's not him that, to find the best, system, the, the best system to get up all his players, man. Because we have good, like, if we get such a buoy and we have, we have good to go right-backs, we have Nuno Mendes and Lucas Hernandez who, who can play left back. We have we have Skriniar, Danilo, Marquinhos, Kimpembe, Baraldo. We have enough yeah. center backs. We have a lot. Mid, I don't know how I don't know how true the center back links are the, for the the new center back coming. I don't know how true those links are. But we have like at least six center backs. The midfield, we have six midfielders. We attack. We have a, we have a stack. We have a stacked team. If Lucho does cannot win this, like cannot go take us to at least semi final back to back years. Questions have to be asked about his like he's like. I do his philosophy and stuff. 100 yeah. percent But do you feel confident with him? I do feel confident if, with him. if we say you gave all this team, all these players to Poch, Galtier, or Lucho. <laughs> I you know you know you knew not to say too cool, man, but I respect I respect it, man. Yeah. <laughs> you knew uh Galtier would have fumbled the squad. Poch Poch may have cooked with this squad. But yeah, Poch may have cooked with this squad. He may have cooked with this squad. Yeah, Poch may have cooked. That's how we fumbled. Lucho, like, Lucho is cooking with the squad. Yeah, Poch may have cooked. Yeah, Poch may have cooked. I see. I'll, I'll leave that. Poch may have... Tuku would have cooked with this squad. Nah, nah, I know you want to Tuku would have cooked with this squad. Nah, 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 nah. Tuk, like, Tuku would have cooked, bro. Ah, nah, 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 nah. We would have been... Nah, like L- Lucio was just available at the right time. At the right time, yeah. L- and now he's start. gonna if everything goes as it should, dynasty. Because the team will only get better, David. That's the scariest thing, David. The team we have now will only get better season by Mbappe next season will be better. Nuno, Hakimi, Vitinha. Yeah, all, all getting better every year, every year. And that's again, shout out, shout out to the man now, Sarah. You know, I, I cook him sometimes with some stupid deals like Colomani. But shout out to him as, uh, eating, eating his, eat, eat, biting his tongue and then bringing on campus on the board and saving this club, man. Because some people like, 
people people who know like people don't want to like think about what our window would have been two years ago when we started Eminem. Leonardo was about to bring Kulubali cooked, cooked Cruz in Saudi Arabia cooked, Pogba, <laughs> another cooked player. Uh, who was it? Was another third person? I think it was going to be Kulumani as well. So, yeah, but imagine if we had Pogba and, and Kulubali right now with their rage and stuff. How would, how would we get rid of them? Kulubali, Pogba would have prevented us getting Vitinia, getting Nogarte, prevented us getting like probably Mascardo and Berardo because how, yeah. much rage, how much money he makes, man. It's just, it's just a healthy rage, rage structure we have right now. Leonardo would have kept Neymar for Ne... Oh, God, nah. No, oh, I'm shout out, man. Shout out, like shout out this club, man. Shout out this club, like I love this club, man. Shout out this club. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're doing good right now, man. Well, now well, that now that De Bruyne is back, is PSG still the best team in the world? <laughs> De Bruyne is back, man. But respectfully, De Bruyne, I love De Bruyne, man. De Bruyne, my guy. But if we do get Kimmich in this move, I, I, I'm not scared of Man City, man. If we do get Kimmich in this move, I'm not scared of Man City. We will go toe to them, like we will go toe to toe with them, man. Like. Kim is just like Kim is just that floor raiser. Like he's that he's that he's him. He's Timothy, man. You search up him, you see you see him. He's that guy that can he can take anything. Like, like, I know Bayern friends been cooking him this season because he's been he's been 50-50, but it's Kimmich, bro. Like, but there the are also valid reasons for that. Like the hunger, yeah. it's hard to have the hunger there. And we can't forget, Kimmich is not a lamb. Kimmich is not a Muller. He didn't come from the Bayern Academy. He's from Leipzig. And he's already accomplished everything. Like, we can, we can put him and Lucas Hernandez case, David, so similarly. Players that have done everything at the club and are looking for something new. Yeah. <sighs> Do you remember when people said, oh, no, I even saw a comment about it. Oh, what? Kimmich hates PSG because of what we that performance we had against him. Money, money talks, man. <laughs> no, money, David. Money talks. <laughs> <laughs> now I remember there was a report that said Kimmich likes the the Parisian project. Like every player, David has noticed this project, and everyone wants to be part of it before it's too late. Bro, what what still what think Kimmich and, and Lucas? I think Kimmich and Lucas were, were good friends. I'm not mistaken though. I think they're good friends. Kim Chandler and Lucas Lucas Hernandez. They were good friends as well. I, I think Lucas Lucas probably was telling him that the product is good and everything. Come come to come to PSG. We'll cook, man. Like, cause bro, you got you gotta imagine the reason why we we, we lost that World Cup that and that um, Champions League final because Mb- Mbappe's stupid miss. Neymar's miss, Neymar's miss. But Kimmich came from his right back and was pinged the ball to to a, to an open man. Coman who dunked on Tilo Kerr somehow, somehow. Yeah. Imagine that. Imagine that, like us in the final. He does that to like Gonzalo or Mbappe or Coloman in the air, man. Or, or maybe even Dembu's. Like, come on, like it's, it's moments like that you don't know, man. Like it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I'm excited. Also, I'm excited. We have a great like long range set piece taker now. Uh, I forgot about that. He, as well. Like he he gets like eight assists from that every single season. Oof. Does he take oh. corner kicks? I think, take, I think no? he, take, he, does, he does take corner sometimes, unless it's Sane and stuff. Sane and we'll force him to take time. them, because our corner kick takes are garbage. Bro, and we have, and we have sent, oh, Kimmich and Marquinhos in, in Champions League nights. Oh my God. <laughs> Bring, him back. Bring him back. Bring him back. Kimmich and Marquinhos in, in Champions League nights. Oh my God. Marquinhos had an ability in Champions Oh, no, no, no. Like, like the idea of it, it's, it's, like, it's scary for Europe. It's very scary, man. It's, it's very, I, don't get, like, I don't get my hopes up, man. Let, let's see. Let's 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 see, man. I'm excited. I, I, like I'm, I would like to understand. I'm more excited, man. And so, what it looks like this January we will have done is Lucas Beraldo, mm-hmm. Gabriel Muscardo, mm-hmm. Joshua Kimmich, Seko Boe. Mm-hmm. What, what's the Belgian dude's name? <laughs> I don't know his name. I, I can't pronounce his name. I can't pronounce. Well, Belgian dude, young left back. Mm-hmm. And then maybe Lorente. I mean, they're saying Todibo and Leniora on the list, yeah. but we obviously know that's not going to happen. No, okay, that's not possible. Yeah. Especially with the Kimmich stuff, not possible. Bro, I'm excited, man. <laughs> Shut up, nah, nah, I'm excited, bro. Like, I, I, like, I get, I get like hyped every day. 
like I woke up every morning, let's just scroll on scroll on Twitter. Let's scroll, let's see. Like let's I'm going to, like, a, like a done deal. I like I woke up this morning, let me scroll, 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 scroll. Like, let's see. And do you remember when the chemist news came out? I think I sent it in the group. Yeah. You're like, yeah, yeah, they want to sell papers. They want to sell. Because <laughs> th- that's the idea of chemistry PhD. You're like, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. way nah, too good to be true. Way too good to be true. Nah, 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 nah stuff is happening. Even, like, even for Paletti, I think I hope I pronounce his stuff right. Like, for him to come out and say, okay, there's a chance, I'm like, whoa. So this can happen. <laughs> so this can actually happen. I'm like, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's good, man. I don't want to say the I don't want to say the the Mascardo stuff was a blessing in disguise because maybe the maybe if you sign Mascardo we won't have got to, we won't have been forced to do this Kim stuff. Mm. But I hope Mascardo recovers from what it is. I hope it's nothing too serious because tumor is cancer and if cancer reaches if cancer affects a leg or anything yeah, that's his football career done like that. So I hope it's nothing too serious. I hope PSG. Yeah. I hope PSG do sign him in, in the summer or something, man. Because again, he has he has hype too. Yeah, no, like, no, I, I I think PSG maybe because the reports like they, they came out. Maybe PSG are telling reporters to tell say this. Corinthians gets pressured and be like, "All right, please just sign him. Please just sign him and take you take like the damage, so on. 15, 12 million, 10 million. Because they want, like they don't want to take him back with this injury, David. Yeah. His, his value drops and everything. Value drops, and everyone in Europe is worried about like, like hmm, PSG of all teams stopped being a player. Maybe the, the, the stuff is yeah. that serious. Yeah. So, yeah, it's possible. It, it's possible. It's possible. Possible. But we have a very, very stacked midfield, man. More to be more. What Moscardo, Kimmich, Ugarte, Vitinha, Zay Emery, Fabian, Soler, Xavi Simmons. <laughs> Who did I forget? I think I forgot somebody. That's eight players. That's eight players, man. That's eight players. Oh my god, man. What a team, man. What a team. What a team. Nah, it's actually insane what we've. All, all of these guys are bu- we're budget buyers, man. We're all budget buyers. Nobody. Uh, maybe all of them came up who cost us a lot, but for, but for good reason. Everybody here was for budget buy. Ugarte, Civic 60, not the 100 mil that. Only 150, 125 million to put for Caicedo, Vitinha for 35, 40 for the best young player in La Liga North. Javi Simmons bought back for 5 mil, 90 value at 100 mil. Zaremi Academy, Fabian discount, discount for like 25, 20. Soler discount for two. Like, we're going to flip this players later. We're going to flip Soler back to La Liga if, if we need to. Mm. Barca. Space, you know? <laughs> and, and, even the dude, that dude that Phil was, talk, was talking about, they, they can't, like, Barca, they, they can't sign him because he. Co- because they don't have money, man. I'm like, bro. <laughs> doesn't doesn't he have like a ten million release clause? <laughs> I'm like, bro, the club's not serious, man. Like, this is kind of serious. And have you seen? Uh, they want to extend uh, the young player from the academy. Oh, Mayulu, yeah, yeah. I hope they extend him, then loan him out for like two years, man. Do like I think Javi Simmons should be the blueprint. Javi Simmons has to be the blueprint for all these young guys. Like, he has to be the blueprint because now with Javi Simmons, we got we sent him up for forty. Now he's about like one hundred mil. Like what the fuck? Someone like Mayulu, if you don't think he's gonna blow up, you, you send him to you send him to like PSV or you, you, have, you have to make connections. Send him to like a low team. That like, if you, if he pops up, you send him to a, a bigger team, that low team. Then then you think about okay, can you come to a rotation or do you want to sell him? Boom. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's what Madrid have been doing for a long time. Yeah, it's Marcos Llorente, all Marcos, of these from their academy. Yeah, now and that's all these guys. Yeah, that would that would they do everything. And so like this this should, should this should be the blueprint. Like Javi Simmons has to be. The, I I think Nasser has seen now. This, this should be. I hope he has seen it now. And no, let me know if he blows up Wolverhampton. If he blows up Wolverhampton, something to move Wolverhampton. I mean, I, I I was glad when I saw those reports. That Lucho and the, the the coaching staff saw something in that because we saw something. I definitely saw something from him, and I want to see more. We're gonna face a garbage team in the Coupe de France next game, so I mean, why not start him? Uh, when, when's Fabian back? I haven't. Like I remember when I talked about this back in December, they said beginning of January he should be back. Yeah, that, that's what I thought too. I remember you said that. 
I think he said something. But uh, has it been like yeah. any PSG training picks? No, I haven't, I haven't seen him PSG training picks yet. So I want, yeah, but he he could make the starting eleven. Who was who, who was starting midfield? It was him. It was Cherndor who, Cherndor, Asensio, and someone else. Wait, uh, Ugarte. And Ugarte. Oh. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, you can play, man. No harm. Let's let's see, let, let's see more. I don't I don't mind it, man. Let's, let's let him play. My mind he oh. has to be low next season, man. Fabian is back to training. Yeah, so probably Fabian will probably take his minutes. He'll probably come off come off of the bench. Which is not bad. He's a young guy. Do you think Barado plays next game with Lucas Hernandez or Lucas Hernandez comes back? No, Lucas comes back. Lucas, excellent, David. I think Lucho again. Wants to line up the best lineup he has, yeah, and go all in. Similarly to Toulouse, I think we're gonna see a great, entertaining game. Obviously, with that Hakim and Kangi Lee, but um, yeah, I think Asensio will start in Kangi Lee's role. Not that big of a difference. And then, yeah, it's probably gonna be Soler as the right back because of all the negotiations with Mukiele yeah, and so on. And stuff, yeah. uh, there are. Uh, I would love to see Solar in that midfield. So, so, bro, Solar would look like Paolo, man. I mean, it's sixth division, but yo, <laughs> Solar would look He was like 6 from deep. Like, he was, was getting like, the ball. There you go, there you go, there. I was like, yo, Solar. I'm like, I don't know if I'm like, they say, they say you couldn't pass, man, but was Messi, was Messi holding you back? My bad, G. Messi was holding you back, man. <laughs> he was, I don't know, nah, he was doing things like, Ain't no way. That's you? Yeah. It's calm, it's calm, it's calm. It's calm. Um, also, I think the Sancho Bui stuff is, is mandatory, especially if we saw that Mukiele. I think he's a done deal because we need a French player for the UEFA requirement to play in UEFA and stuff. So, yeah. And they asked um, who will we sign if we don't get them? Oh, we don't get who? If you don't get Kimmich or Bruno, I mean, we, yesterday, me, you, we saw the Barella report, so the, the next probably the is, is, is Barella. Probably Barella, Barella, yeah, they're probably gonna try to press for Barella, but I think so. I think somebody will be bought, whatever they have to, yeah. I think, I, I, I think now, I think somebody will be bought, man. Whether it's between Kimmich and Barella, yeah, it's one of those guys. Um, was it transfer since you came joining PSG in the winter? I said at the moment fifty percent, but it's it's going up. Um, I see this to fifty percent. You're into four back against third division. It's going. I think I think it's going to be the same team that played against. Like I think he's going to bench on Shalon. So I think it's going to be the same attack with Mbappe. Basically, you can arrest the first guard and let's play Dukan Shalon and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was going to do. Like now, now he's trying to like spread out game time and stuff. Kimi is doing all Kimi respect to him. Just Robert, him, for Pepe. Yeah, yeah. But see, but that's the thing, no. Tony. Yo, yo, yo. Look at his dick riding his rival here, Tony. You're yeah. disgusting, by the way. But that's the thing, that's the thing though. You're you're banking on Kimi walking for free to Man City, though. That's the thing you're banking on. Bayern don't want to walk want him to walk walk for free. That's that's that, that's what they're doing because the same thing is happening to Alfonso and Musiala. They're, they're like, if we can't extend, you have to sell you because again, they can't, act, they can't like afford to lose the players for free. Like, so yeah, I mean, if Man City come out and say, okay, what? Wait, you said Barca. I, I wait, you say Barca? I, I didn't see. I, I didn't say Barca, man. Like, he, no, no, he said Barca. There, tw- like he's tr- he's trolling. Oh, he's trolling. Oh, ba- oh, Barca, respect this man. I respect, respect this club, man. <laughs> I'm just talking about facts. If Kimmich is to leave City, we we bid as well. No, it's, there is some interest from City, but because yeah. PSG is pushing much harder, it's probably going to be us, especially with us having Mukiele, who if, buy you one, Tony. Yeah, if if um if Man City bid, then then I'll see. But to, to like I've not I haven't seen links of them bidding anytime soon, or I I don't know. I haven't I don't again. Pep is not someone that, that makes out big ass signings in January, man. From what I've known, Pep so. Yeah, and, and City usually don't spend a lot of money, especially on like an old player. Kimmich is what? Like, Kimmich is not old, but Kimmich to the standard of what? Pep signs is old. When has Pep ever bought a 28 year old? 
for like a lot of money. God, All the a lot of money are young, like Laporte, Diaz, Kyle Walker, uh, I don't know, Edison. Everyone has been young, so yeah. We can't we can't let Man City have Kimish KGB and Rodri, man. No, I refuse to have allow that. No matter how hard you push, if Pep comes, fuck Pep, man. <laughs> fuck Pep. In the summer, we were taking Nunes. We were Nunes would have come to PSG if we wanted to, but Lucha didn't want to. We would have gotten Olmo out of City as well. Nobody rates City. Like, they've won the Champions League and still nobody rates them. Don't compare us to City, man. And then you said Barca, if they have money. Saying if Barca had money is like saying if I had a Lamborghini. Barca are broke. <laughs> <laughs> Pep just wants the robots and slaves. Yeah, but this is a previous robot slash slave. I mean, he brought up this slave, <laughs> Kimmich. So it could be an anomaly there. Pep had to blow Bernardo not to join us. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually like, I'm actually okay. I'm actually like okay now. We didn't sign Almo. We didn't sign Bernardo and all this stuff. I'm like, if you're, Kumani, if you're, like, are you okay to, with that? <laughs> don't remind me about Kumani, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm actually okay with with all this if you man gets Kimmich in the long run, man. Yeah, I just wish. I just, I just dead ass wish we didn't sign Colomani. I, I like Colomani sometimes, but I just wish we didn't sign him because if we didn't like, I, I don't, I don't do, I, don't, I hate doing the hindsight stuff. But if we didn't sign like Colomani, we probably have like a, probably have done this Kimmich stuff earlier, like without yeah. like without Hezzy, like do we have money to spend? This Toribo could probably instead of getting this Laurent, do we're probably getting like Toribo or something? All, all the hindsight, but yeah. I think Colomani is going to be here for all his career. I don't think he will, he will want to leave PSG, his, his friends. Yeah. Like, uh, He'll probably like accept lower wage as well, just to say. Like, to say. like an Ascension at Madrid or something, something like yeah, that. So, so I think, I think Colomani, I think the only thing they can push him out of PSG is probably game time in the future, but that's not happening anytime soon. So yeah, hopefully, but hopefully he, go, he goes back to his best starts, and starts playing good. Him and Ramos, both of them, because they're both, they're both smelly right now. Well, yeah. Well, Kimmich, man. Kimmich, Kimmich, Kimmich. Can't you see? Ah, Kimmich and Dembele, man. The ball progression. Zayam. Zayam learning from Kimmich. Oh, my God. Man. David, the, 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 the thing when I see this is like, man, this is what Verratti deserved, man. Verratti just wanted one of them, David. Bro, imagine we got Kimmich and Verratti at the same time. <laughs> Ah, God, man, bro, Europe, Europe, nah, it, it's cool, man. it's cool. And you, you know, David, even though we're going with this French project, we still have a very multicultural starting eleven: Donnarumma, yeah. Italian, Rabak, so. Moroccan, centre backs, Brazilian. We say French, Portuguese, left back, midfield, German, Portuguese, French, and then the attack is probably going to stay French. French, yeah. Yeah, I think I think I think the three languages probably Spanish, Spanish, French, and um, Portuguese. I think those are the three main languages in the squad. It's it's good, man. It's good mix. Good mix. Good mix. Everyone has everyone has a countryman or a place on very close to their country, man. Cool. But who will Kimmich be with? Ooh, yeah. Let's guess that. Kimmich. Do we have some ex Bundesliga? Did not, not, he will not be with Colomani. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honest with the Ooh. French boys. Maybe Ooh, Kimmich will be like with screen. Maybe maybe he will be Kimmich chilling Kimmich with Kimmich the be French be boys, Kimmich like Lucas. Be, yes, he'll be the French. Ah, I said we love Lucas boys. Kimmich will be the French boy and stuff, man. Yeah. Ah, but the. Kimmich, <laughs> no, no, no. I, that, that's funny. That's funny as fuck. Yeah, Kimmich with, with the French guys. That's funny, man. I'll be, I'll be there, man. I'll be there no matter what. Atletico leading to dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's going too well, David. It's going a bit too well. Uh, Bruno Guimaraes. <laughs> um, do, do, I've all like Galatasaray fans what positions this Bowie guy can play. They they say like right back and right midfielder, right wing back. But I'm interested. Like if we don't have enough money to get that Belgian guy, David. Mm -hmm. If we can put him as a left back, 
No, no, no. He, oh, no. I don't think I don't think he got played left back. I don't think <laughs> from the comps I've seen, I don't think he got played left back. He looks too right. He looks too too one footed. Too like like, like mm. he's, he can only play on one side of the field. Like, I don't think he can play on both sides. Okay. Cause, Cause the Belgian dude, David, cause he he's the least priority signing. We yeah, want to get Boye, we want to get Kimmich, probably the centre back ahead of him. Yo, can, can we can we watch his comp? Uh, can we watch his comp or yeah yeah yeah. yeah. But, no, but we he, can, has we that, can. he has that Kanye song. I said I don't want to get the copy strike, copy, like uh, copyrighted. Oh no, I can just remove the sound. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, uh, b- before we do that, I'll just for update people that have that haven't been here. The biggest progression in the Kimmich file is the recent report that came out by Plenty Gold and Sky Sport Germany, which said, uh, just what Kimmich is no longer so close after the idea of leaving by in the summer, the player does not rule out a departure under certain conditions. Before they reported, like yesterday they reported, he doesn't want to leave in January, la la la, there is no percent chance. Now he's okay with it. Bayern are pushing really hard. They already have an agreement with Mukiele. Some people are reporting Kimmich already has an agreement with PSG, but no reliable source, I would say, has confirmed that news. So at the moment, I've, I've also read from Insider, David, that Campos and Antero are in Germany at the moment. Germany, yeah, they're doing it. And they have a good relationship with Bayern because of Juan Bernat, Lucas Hernandez, uh, previous deals and so on. Yeah. And I mean, Lucas David is extremely similar. He had a short contract. They didn't want to lose it for free or something. So they, they set a good price and sold him. They did it to Lewandowski before. I see it happening here with Kimmich. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's watch him then. No, 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 do, 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 do the, the one on Twitter. I'll, I'll send you the, that one. Oh, on Twitter? Okay. Yeah, I'll send that one on Twitter. That, that one, I knew I was good, man. He yeah, has a song. I mean, the, 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 the song from the comp makes it go hard, but I think I think that song is copyright. Is the Kanye song, man? So let me see. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. uh, and by the way, guys, this is a left back that we're in for. He's called uh, Maxim Stupid, playing at Club Bruges, I think. So people are saying Regillon, no. Barco, obviously, no, he's he's stupid. He's going to join Brighton, all no, right? No, he misses no, out no, on winning no, the no. treble and everything. D- did you see what happened? So Barco was about to join us, but his engine wanted three, like, what, 3.5 million? Oh, 3.5, yeah. Yeah, I'm kidding. Like, no, it's like, like Gunnar. It's like yeah, Gunnar. Exa- 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 exactly. <laughs> you're trying to rob us, man. But I said you come, I said you come in our group chat. Again. But David, 3.5, that's not much. Just, much, you know I, what? PSG your hardball, man. Yeah, Our deal yeah, or no deal? Our yeah, deal or no deal, man. We said Mukele or we being alone with option obligation. Uh, it depends. At the moment, it's circulating. Uh, it, uh, it, it's with an option to buy for 25 million. Is PSG getting Kimmich? At the moment, it, it's, it's progressing. The file is progressing, but nothing confirmed yet. We're not that close to agreement. But the deal is progressing, and we have what over twenty days left of the January transfer window. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, you sent it. Yeah, it's our where group did it? Our group chat. You can see it. Experts. Yeah, yeah experts. You can see it. It's there. It's there. It's next. <sighs> no, no, it's, it's, it's under the link. Under the link, in experts. It's, it's just no, it, it hasn't updated for me. Wait, let me let me refresh. <laughs> We're excited to see Kimmich PSG's mentality, yeah. And I mean, that's exactly what we needed as well, David. Look at the midfield. Ugarte, what, 22? Kangi Lee, what, 22? Vitinha, 23? Warren, 17? We needed an old player. Because in defense, we have Lucas, we have Marquinhos, and Danilo. Like, too many leaders at the back. And up top, we can say Mbappe is a leader because he's, like, he's mature enough age-wise and so on. And even Dembele as well. Even though sometimes he's a bit immature on the pitch. But we needed that in the midfield. Yep, that leader and the mentality as well. Do you see it now or no? Yeah, yeah, I got it. So, people, this is uh, Maxime De Sipper. He's a left back playing for Club Bruges. We're after price around 8 million euros. He's an upcoming left back, high potential, similarly to uh, Valentin Barco. I think he has two goals and eight assists so far in the Pro League. So, he's a GA dude as well. Which I know David likes <laughs> more than Dembus, more than Dembus this season. <laughs> I get it. Ooh. Ah, 
has a great shot. I think that's him crossing again. Wait, him cross again. No, no, no. Wait, well, this is him. Oh, that's, that's him winning the header. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, but yeah, yeah. He, 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 he's gonna make a cross on the right side. He can, he can put left back and right back as well. Yeah. Wait, did he that's put him. the ball there over the top? Yeah. Yep, yep. That's him. The call back here. Yeah, that, that's needed. That pit. Oof, that's a striker's finish. That's him crossing for corners. Yeah, that's him again. Corners, yeah. That's him crossing there. Travella. <laughs> Go on, Oh, nice cross. Yeah, but we would never score a goal like this if not <laughs> Gonzalo is playing. Like Mbappe is not scoring. Maybe Colo, man. I don't know. Yeah, maybe Colo too. Man. Bro, see the crossing, man. Oh. The only worrying thing for me with him, David, is mm -hmm. defending in Ligue 1. <laughs> yeah, like, he's going to come up against Traoré and oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Numa, Ernest Nwama. Like, they, they're going to destroy yeah. him. He is Trent in the making? No. His only ability is in passing. No. He's a much, much better player than Trent. <laughs> what position? He's a right back. No, he's sorry, left back. Left back, left back, yeah. Wait, you say he can play right back? He can play right back, yeah. Yeah, he's a, yeah but, but he's, he's the least priority oh. signing right now, man. All right, we got some news here. I was waiting for, like, some news. So, the first one is from actor David. PSG is not at all on Barella for this winter. Boom. To Barella, so it has to be, has to be Kimmich now. Yeah, what, what I think is, David, maybe Barella's name was drawn up as a player. Like, all right, if, if Kimmich first would go for him. And then yeah. Kimmich said, maybe I will come. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, fuck you, Barella. Fuck you, Barella. <laughs> What's this about? Remind of the summer transfer in the five Colombani where the closing Oh like he's just propping himself, right? Mm hmm He's propping himself for for getting Colombani right in the summer, yep. I think. Yep. He's, he's saying that he called it first and stuff, yeah. Uh, I mean, people, don't, people don't give him credit, man. He's been calling some things too. He called out I think he was gonna call out Dembele as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he yeah. propped that as well. No, David, I've received DMs telling me, yo, you know that Emin Fu guy here in France, he's not rated. He's not a good journalist. <laughs> <laughs> like, he got haters. He got haters. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know these insiders got. Like, Actu got tons of haters as well. Yeah, yeah, I think Actu is too scared, man. So he always goes private. I'm like, bro, why he was getting private? I, I think I'm so, I'm saying he lost his, he lost his, um, his main account, man. Because he made a yeah, yeah, like yeah. he had like forty k followers, but now was, that was, now he's he has started again. But yeah, mm -hmm. that's his own problem, man. But yeah, but he was going to he was going to private after after making like an exclusive, man. Like, bro, that's weird. And this is what he's weird. saying around the Kimmich deal at the moment. The press yeah. is juggling yesterday. Bayern was not a seller today. Oh, yesterday Bayern was not a seller. Today, yes. <laughs> It moves so quickly. Yesterday, the play did not discuss with Paris. Today, yes. We stayed the course with our information. We're waiting for this. Yeah, so Kimmich is already talking about with PSG. Obviously, he's already confirmed that they have an agreement of a four and a half year contract. Um, it's, it's, but the, it's, the discussion it's, is definitely there. This is last big payday, man. He knows, he knows what he got to do, man. It's, it's Paris. Come, come to the Parisian life, you know what I'm saying? Gonna have fun, like he, he's he's so nice, like, serious as well. He'll take I'll get Kimmich in the squad, man. Let me see something. Let me see something. Let me see one or two, man. Yeah, I, I want actually to talk about Kimmich. Yeah. What is he waiting for? 
you know, he, he he really does something. He really like reports something that he, he gets from his, his own source. He doesn't like repeating what people say. That way for him, so, bro. Fuck Manu Kone. Fuck everything. If it means getting Kimmich, man, respect you, yeah, man, like, bro. Uh, like Manu Kone, David, it, it would take thirty seconds to complete the deal. That's simple. He would sign yeah. immediately. Yeah, but we're, we're going to the big fish. But if Lucho was actually, like, if Lucho was actually like saying like I want to like press it for like it's good shout out to him man because it like, Kimmich just takes your team to the whole next level man. Like, he takes your team no, no. like a serious player. He has no no drama outside field. All, all, all he wants to do is play football man. I want that. I want that at this club. Yeah, and I remember when I was like Tosin was saying, we're not gonna sign anyone in January. <laughs> we're not gonna sign anyone in January. And I told him, since the summer, every single reporter has talked that Lucho wants a world class midfielder. Yeah. So I am one hundred percent certain. But like David, I expected like a big midfielder and then maybe a defender for like rotation and so on. Rotation, yeah. We've we we've signed like what? Well, it's gonna be like six players at the end? Five players? Mm -hmm. Five, probably five or four, yeah. But that, that's the thing. You have to remember that, like when we 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 sold a lot of players, and we lost a lot of players to injuries as well. So our squad, our squad, our squad was, was already tight on players, man. That's why. Yeah. That's why what me and guns. I think we kind of we kind of rejuvenate, like we revived our squad in in a window basically, <clears throat> and we did it smartly as well. Yeah. That's crazy. The thing, and no Shout other campus, big signings have happened this January. Shout out campus. Yeah. Shout out campus. <laughs> well, did, should we call uh, Kimmich and Nasser signing? Yeah, I'll probably, I'll, I'll, I'll probably give Kimmich and Nasser. But I've heard, I've heard that campus and Antero are there. Like, yeah, campus I, and Antero work in every deal. It just... Yeah, but, but I think here is, is, is Nasser as well. I want I want to give Antero like the like he's like the forward hand of um of Nasser basically in that sense. I mean I've I've not seen Nasser link, but I I don't think I could give it to Campos to be honest. I could I, I could give it to any of them to be honest. It's fifty fifty for me. Cause, cause I know I know like this guy I know Campos doesn't like signing old players, but at the same time, Kimi's not really a bling bling signing. He's just a player that, that wants to work hard and play football basically. He's not, and it's uh, not so even about bling bling. Like I think Campos knows to a certain extent, David, that you, you want to have as many young players, hungry players, but you gotta surround them with superstars or bling bling or something. Uh, or like 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 how, like how he did at Monaco with the uh, he like every like every like young player that was promising had a, like a, a veteran beside them. Like Bappi had Falcao beside him. Yeah, and Glick, Glick had um, had, many had Glick beside him. All these, all these guys, Fabinho, Jomutinho, Subastich, exactly. All these guys was a good mix of good old and young. Just Lem, Lem, Lemar, so all they had the young and old players beside him to keep them in check. So like, it's a good mix, man. Having a, having a player like Kimmich, his mentality, man, for Zay Emery, oh my, for mm. Vitinha, for Vitoro Ferreira. Ah, God, man, you guys, I can't imagine, man. I, I, I don't get to, I just want to see a here we go, Kimmich to buy, Kimmich to PH. That, that'll break the internet, man. You see Kimmich <laughs> you know, PSG. Kimmich will become a sexy player finally, David. Not that boring German stuff. Bro. This is a superstar <laughs> team, man. Bro. They, they got Kane, David. Happy for them. Happy We're taking Lucas and Kimmich. And they can get Mukiel as well. Well, I think we're pretty much discussed everything, David, uh, that's currently going on. H how confident are you feeling that we're going to make the, the Sasha Bowie and the Joshua Kimmich signing? Um, 70%, like 70%. I think these deals will be done by... I think we would know... We'll, we'll probably sign one of them by, by Monday next week. One of them, yeah, probably. Because football is moving fast, man. All, everybody has to make it like... I, I think... I think we will hear a couple more names. With, with I think today we just heard about the center backs. Now I think we'll hear more. We'll be linked to more names now with, with, with what they want to do, with what they want to do with center backs, whether we send a center back or not. Yeah, yeah I think we we'll hear more names later. But, but I think a player will be sent by for PSG by next week. Yeah, that's my. Guess. All right. Mm -hmm. Well then, David, hear from you uh, for the pre-match podcast uh, of the RC Long Game. For sure, for sure, I'll be here. And until then, take care, David. Take care, take care. 
So people send the stream. You heard the likelihood from David. I can add the likelihood again. I can name you everything quickly now. All right. This is the most important part. So listen carefully. Sasha Boy is pretty much a done deal to Paris Saint-Germain around 21, 22 million euros. He will obviously have a, a contract of around four, four and a half, maybe five years. Not the highest wage because players like Galatasaray don't have the highest wage. I, we, you know what? We can even check it out. Galatasaray wage. We can check his current wage at Galatasaray and try to guess his wage. His wage here quickly. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh my days. He, 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 he got a slave wage. I mean, at least compared to his teammates. So there he is. He's earning 10K. Let me bring up here so you can, guys. Here is it. 10K. I think this is pre, pre tax. Gross. Um, so yeah, his contract would not be an issue and his wages. Second of all, we have Joshua Kimmich. He's thinking about leaving. Bino may be open to a selling with him only having one in a year left on his contract. Plus, they have a lot of interest in Noradin Mukiele, a current Paris Saint-Germain player, where it looks like it would be Mukiele, plus around 50 million for Joshua Kimmich. If we do check out... Um, if we do check out Bayern's wage, Kimmich wage, we'll see what around what contract he will have. I think he has. Whoa! They're not treating him well. Son, name higher wages than him? That's disgusting. So, Kimmich earns. What the? All right, there he is. Kimmich earns 375k. That's a lot of money. Uh, he'll probably come to PSG if we look at PSG salary. Take a look at PSG salary. Who's the got Dembele 384? Yeah, you probably. I mean, he has a good contract. Maybe up to 400. He'll maybe get up to 400. I mean, he already has a big contact at, uh, at Bayern. So I would guess around 400k a week for Joshua Kimmich. And yeah, strap up because this winter transfer window has just begun. I do think it's going to take a little bit of time with the Kimmich deal and even the Boye deal because Boye is connected to this deal with Mukiele being a right back. That we're pretty much like we're pretty much selling Mukiele to get Bowie and then adding what around 50 million for uh, Kimichiano, which is insane. Insane. We're giving them that Tangaiga from our Academy Chopas who have done favors. Yes, sir. As a German, I would be so apt. I think I would buy his jersey immediately. Huge job, Ruby. You finally got your German player since that Draxler hype back in 2016. Why would we buy mid like Chelsea? We don't have one elite player except Mbappé, Osman, Hakim, Warren. You don't think Kimmich is elite? Wait, pay him an EBT? What's EBT? You guys elite? Facts. If Kimmich join, you know he's coming just for money? <laughs> what? Look, even if he just came for money, give me Kimmich. <laughs> So you mean Neymar came for money, Mbappe came for money, Messi came... Like, you see how boring it gets? The amount of superstars this club has had, it's impossible it's just for money. Because then everybody would just go to Saudi or where the most money is given. No, they come to PSG because <laughs> this club is different from other clubs. I can smell the flop with that, dude. We are like Chelsea, but <laughs> this buying club pays a lot of money as well, yeah. So we're going to sign a dude of Galatasaray and Kimmich. Yeah, the, the dude from Galatasaray is called Sasha Boy. He's a right back claim for Galatasaray. French as well, from Paris. PSG fan as well. Has talked openly about supporting the club. And Joshua Kimmich from Bayern. We're also looking at Marcos Lorente. I think that's his name. A centre-back from Roma, Spanish. And then we're looking from De Super, a Belgian left-back from uh, Club Rouge. So it'll be four more signings. Moscardo at the moment, it's a question mark. If PSG want to finalize the deal with us finding an injury in him, but uh, no agreement has been found yet. But no disagreement has been found yet. So that will take a little bit more time. I think that's been it. 
for the emergency podcast of Joshua Kimmich and Saka Boy to Paris Saint-Germain. If you enjoyed this video, the best way to show your support is smashing the like button. Subscribe to the PSG YouTube channel. Even if you still have some questions, make sure to comment them in the comments down below and I will answer all of your comments. That's been it from your boy PSG. And as usual, allez, 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 Paris.